Hey there, welcome to Getting It Done North of Seven. Today we're going to be working on our firewood again. We got this load about two weeks ago. We had a big truckload of logs come in. I'll leave a video down in the description below. I'll leave a link to that video where you can go watch the truck backed in here. It unloaded all these logs into the spot. And that was fun watching the guy unload that truck with a big claw and a boom and dumping these logs right here in this spot. You'll enjoy it. So like I said, it's been about two weeks. We got a fair amount of work done, even though it doesn't look like a lot. There is a lot of work to be done. You know, you have to cut and split and stack the wood into the wood shelter. And I'll take you over there in a second to show you all that. Even though it's been two weeks, I haven't been going at it every day. I had, uh, you know, other things on the go. I had to deal with a bit of back pain for a day. So, and weather. But I expected all this. I'm in no rush and I expected this. I figure about six to eight weeks by the time I get all these logs cut, split and stacked. I'll show you around a bit. Okay, as you can see, the logs were laid out on top of these two logs. You see there's one there and there's one there. So we have cut quite a bit. The pile wasn't as high as this, but it came down gradually. We got quite a bit of trees done, or logs, I should say. Today I'm gonna do a bit of splitting. And uh, you can see we stacked quite a bit of uh, wood here in the, sh in the woodshed. I'll take you around to the side and you can see how many rows we have. So there you go, we got, what do we got? We're on our fifth row now. So I think when I started, I had just a little over one, maybe one and a half rows of uh, firewood stacked in there. So we've gotten at least three, over three more rows. And these rows are 10 feet in length and height they're pretty high and uh you know what it's coming along probably finish this road today and start on the next one and over here on this side this is all wood for next year or i should say even remaining of this winter season so all this wood here will be going around to the back underneath my deck where i keep more firewood so it's close to the walkout basement where the wood furnace is so I'll be moving this, that'll take time. That'll probably be about three days of loading the trailer and then taking it around the back and stacking the wood underneath the deck. Cause we're gonna need all this space for more of this wood to go in there. And by the looks of it, you know what? Well, even with the storage space underneath my deck where I stack all the wood and I can stack quite a bit under there, plus all this wood shelter, uh, we're not gonna have enough room for all the wood that we have. So I'll have to stack some out here. I'll make like a lean-to off of here or something so it doesn't get wet from rain and snow. And you can see my still MS-180 saw there. I actually just fixed that saw. Um, I had a broken handle on it. I just actually just published a video today. So you'll be seeing this video in a couple days. So I published this video on Friday. Um, if you ever break a handle on your chainsaw and you wanna change it, go watch that video because I'm going to show you what not to do and well what to do but a couple of mistakes that i made that you can avoid and save you a lot of headaches so it's a real beautiful sunny day it's friday the weekend's upon us i'm going to get started playing here get some wood split especially this pile here and then i'll work on the next one then we'll cut some more off later on today maybe even take a little bit of firewood around to the back so hang around i'll show you some fun shots and uh, let's get at it
Well, it's later in the day now, it's 4 p.m. in the afternoon and done working for the day, put all my tools away. Got a load of wood that's gonna last us for the next few days. Got a fair bit amount of work done today. It's a good thing because tomorrow is supposed to rain and snow and then snow on the next day on Sunday. So it's two days kind of shot there from what I'm seeing in the forecast, unless nothing becomes of it, right? So I split quite a bit of wood, pretty much finished that one row. We, got, we can fit one more row on this side and then my father was here today and we cut a lot of wood today. As you can see, we got a big pile of logs there now that to split. So we should be good for a while before we have to cut more. I say we're halfway through our pile of logs already and that's only been two weeks and not working every day. I'm surprised it's actually going pretty quick. So I just thought I'd give a quick update on what about the firewood and the cutting and the splitting and all that. We're doing pretty good. So if you enjoy this sort of thing, hit the like button stay tuned we got a whole series on this playlist you can watch right from the beginning when we had the tr uh, the logs dropped off of the big truck i'll put a link below to that playlist as well and if you like this sort of thing hit that subscribe button thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video mm -hmm.